Hello team. Today we're going to do a squat workout in my living room. Now not everything is going to be squatting and this squat workout will not be very good for building squat strength unless body weight is right around your maximal strength abilities. If you're looking for something like that, you're going to want to stop watching this and keep looking. Okay. So what we're going to start with is just a little ab warm up that gets our legs moving around. So we're going to start with a leg lowering and lay down. Basic cues here is I like to start feet up, hence lowering, not leg raise. Uh, basic cue is I want your back to stay in the ground a little bit. You'll notice sometimes it wants to come up as you let your leg lower and I can snake my hand under this low back. Just don't let it do that. And we're going to alternate legs and do 20 of these. And you're going to hear me breathe while I do this. Oh, I'm going to lose count. I think I already did. If you're getting any hip clicking, try to make the longest arc with your leg that you can. Um, generally, the hip flexor muscle snaps over something. I'm not really sure what it is. It might be part of the spine. It might be part of the hip bone. And it just does this little like thingy. Not anything to be particularly worried about, but I know that it feels better when that doesn't happen for me. So I'm feeling my abs turning on. Whew, my breathing rate is increasing. Hopefully I look cool while we do this. Now, next one, we're going to stand up. We're going to do 20 squats. Um, take a bout shoulder width, maybe slightly wider than that. Let your toes come out and we're just going to come as low as is comfortable or maybe a little bit uncomfortable. Kind of reach your arms forward as you come down. Don't look straight at the ground like this. I have a tendency to do that, so keep me honest, even though I know this isn't live. And have no idea how many reps I've done, but my legs are starting to burn and I feel good. Okay, so that'll just get us up and moving around. Now I wrote something down here. Let's let's look to see what we have next. Ooh, reverse lunges. So what's good about doing an in-home workout is you don't have any space. So that little constraint makes you try to figure out what you're doing. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna wobble all over the place. We're gonna let ourselves bend over a little bit. I'll turn to show you. Let you bend over a little bit so that you can load this front leg. Generally, I don't want you talking during your warm up or during your workout. See, I'm losing cognitive function. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, don't want you talking during your workouts. I want you to try to focus on breathing in and out your nose. Make this feel as easy as you can. And your body will perceive it as easier and more restful. Your legs will still get tired, but you oxygenate yourself better and you clear out fatigue better. Apparently, you lose your voice as well. Okay, next, after our lunges, push-ups. Obviously, in any squat workout, you want to do push-ups. The reason these are in here is because the body is a unit. The body works together. We don't want to just focus on one thing. We want to teach the body how to work together. So we're not letting our elbows fly out so far like this. We're not keeping them totally next to our body like this. That's very tricep dominant. We're going to use something that's a little bit more optimal somewhere in the middle with our elbow tuck and push. Okay, so next step is when we get to the top, I want you to push yourself all the way away, just like this. So no half reps, 
we're gonna finish all the way. This will just help you stay loose, help you feel a little bit better during this workout. And then the last main cue I wanna give you is don't let your butt come up like this. Remember that leg lowering. We don't wanna hang on to the hip flexor. We wanna teach the hips to be in the right position. So we're gonna actually bias the abs to turning on by tucking your tail between your legs and exhaling. Now I can feel my abs. I feel them especially in this outer region here. That's kind of what I'm looking for the most. And I can feel my hip flexor stretching my quads in front of my hip. So we're gonna pretend like I did a ton of reps and reach at the top. I lost my abs there a little bit. Let's find them again. So your prescription is 20, 20 reps. That is not 20, 20 vision. Uh, if you can't do 20, don't do 20, do less than 20, do four for all I care. That's not the part that matters. You just need to exert yourself. Next one, flip on over, lay on your back. This here, I'll scoot back for you because you probably didn't see any of my pushups. This here is called a single leg glute bridge. When I start these, I wanna make sure again that your back is flat in the ground. And I like to start with your tailbone up off the ground. This helps me, I feel it right now. This helps me turn on my hamstrings. So this gives me a feeling of what it's supposed to feel like, at least throughout this movement, I want you to use some hamstring. So we're gonna say, okay, take that feeling and hang on to it. Don't lose it and push your hips up. As you come down, that's the big, that's the hard part for me at least. Don't lose your hamstrings. If you have to go slow, go slow. If you can speed it up, speed it up. I feel crazy hamstring. I feel a lot of glute here at the top of this movement. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, if this isn't hard enough, you can do single leg. <laughs> Two leg was definitely hard enough for me. So I don't know why I'm still doing these. Woo. <sighs> Baby. So this is the basic structure of the workout. Um, if you want to keep going, you keep going. If that's enough for you, it's okay. It hasn't been very long, but it's okay. <laughs> What I would generally suggest is let's start over, let's keep going. So I'm gonna do a whole nother round with you guys. Leg lowering. We can talk about something fun. What's the weather like? Oh, it's nice. Oh yeah, you're in California, the weather, cool. That's my small talk skills. I have been reading a new book. This is where I really small talk. It's called The Coddling of the American Mind by Jonathan Haidt and Greg Lukianoff. Um, it's a pretty inflammatory title, which I kind of like, but their premise is that the, uh, the well intentions of Gen Z, the people born after 1995, or 1995 and after. So not me and my brother Kyle, but my brother <laughs> Josh, my sister Maddie, my sister Riley, they, uh, they're basically weak because they grew up with social media. Not That's not what their argument is. I'm just saying that to poke fun at people. 20 squats. And we're gonna try to just keep moving through this, right? I'm not gonna sit here and just hang out because I got to catch my breath. I want to be short of breath and I want my legs to burn. So if anything makes them burn, ease into that. Or what do they say in Silicon Valley? Lean into it. Sorry, I yelled that into the mic. And I can do these pretty quickly if I'm feeling good. 
I believe reverse lunges was next. Whoo! Now, if you don't, oh, we're falling. If you don't like reverse lunges, you could do forward lunges. I think they're hard. They're harder to do correctly, but you can get something out of this just so long as you don't lunge back with your back like this and you kind of keep that forward lean as you're coming off that leg. That way I get a lot of uh, front leg push off rather than just low back bending. If you find your back gets tight after your lunges, go back to basics, do something like this, maybe even do something just like a split squat, a little less complicated. Try to get your leg muscles burning. We talked about that earlier, right? I don't know why I can't remember what's next after this. Uh, squats, reverse lunges. Oh, push-ups, that's why I can't remember. This is not a squat. So confusing. Fix my hips there. If 20 is too many, you can always just make this a plank. Maybe you got some wrist problems. You straighten our wrist out. Maybe you got some elbow problems and you don't want to bend. Just hold the plank. That works pretty well. It is getting warm here in Mountain View. Oh yeah, single leg bridges. I'm gonna lay back down. Here I'll turn so you can see my, my good side, my toned side. If you got that joke, leave a comment below. And I remember that two leg felt really good, so. I'm gonna stay here. Now I'm noticing that my left hip wants to come towards the ceiling more than my right hip. So I'm just trying to even them out based on feel, I can look my eyes down a little bit, but I don't wanna compromise my neck position so much like this looking, as it starts to choke me, right? That's gotta be 20. Okay. Now, I feel a lot better. I hope you do too. I've done two rounds. I should probably do a third, but I have more videos to film, so. I'm gonna have to cut it here. Feel free to keep going. Two, three, four, five rounds. You could set just a, a good way to measure this. Do your at-home workout. That requires no equipment, just some open space. Set a timer. Say, I'm gonna do this for, I'm gonna work out for 30 minutes. And just keep going through it. Tally how many rounds you get of each exercise and then you can monitor your work output and you can see your changes. So as you do this more regularly, you're gonna be able to get more work done in the same amount of time. Good luck, measure what matters because what measures, what gets measured gets managed. There it is, okay, good luck.